So even if they're willing to walk away, you let them walk away, right? Sometimes when people bluff, they become difficult. They yell. They are pushy and demanding, right? They get aggressive. It's like it's like that. It's like that Russian girl that I told you about who like who were like. The first few times she would text me screaming like she was like, hey, what the fuck are you? And I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with this girl? And I'm like, what is wrong with her? And she did it like a few times. And after like the third or fourth time, I was like, yo, calm the fuck down. Don't talk to me that way. And she was like, oh, my fault, my fault, my fault. I'm just saying, you know, so that she was super aggressive. As soon as I was like, you know what, man, this girl's out of her goddamn mind. I'm not dealing with this shit. I called her out on it. And what happened then is that she just gave, got more passive. She was like, oh, my fault, my fault. And I'm like, look, man, you talk to me one more time, I'm, you, you're leaving. I, talk, I remember telling her that. <laughs> I was like, you, you talk to me like that one more time, you're getting the fuck out, right? Um, I was like, don't look miserable. I, I, what was it I told her? I was like, if you act miserable one time, you're, you're going back home. <laughs> right? <laughs> and what she does, she does that because it works, Right? She does that because some guys in the past let her get away with the bullshit. You know, they'll test you by being late and seeing whether or not you could tolerate the lateness. They'll test you by calling you names or being disrespectful to see whether or not you're actually going to fight back. Those little things, it's like when dogs eat an animal. It's bite by bite. They don't give one big bite and take a big chunks, no. Little nipples, one bite here, one bite there. And the problems with those little bites is that usually the disrespect that they initially do that usually escalates over time are things that are that you would you will rationalize and say it's no big deal. They do it and then they do it again, but it's still not big enough to to complain about it, but but enough for you to notice, but not big enough for you to call it out. So what they do is that they start to play in your, con uh, they start to play on your conservative instincts to just say, you know what, <sighs> yeah, this, but it's, it's no big deal, I guess. I mean, they're nice, you know, this, that's just dumb. So, it, but then once you realize what's going on, once you realize you've that you've you've you sort of like tolerated it, it's already too late. It's better. To cut it off from the start. Any signs of bickering, any sign of them being difficult, any sign of them sending mixed signals, any sign of them being way too cocky around you, any sign, any glimpse of that, you re you don't react and you just do you either call it out or you pull away. For example, um, there is this one girl who uh, who I'm texting right now, right? And the first time we met on the date, she was late, 40 minutes late, 40 minutes late, people. And I remember before we, we went out, I was like, hey, um, before we go, let's, because what happened, she canceled twice, right? Before that, she canceled twice. And it's kind of like she's canceling, it's no big deal, right? Now she's late and you're like, well, but then you, th you start thinking, wait a minute. It's been this, this, and this. This is like adding up, but it's like small enough to ignore. But when you add it up, it kind of irks you. So she came out. She we um she we met. She was like, "Hey," and I was like, "Wait." I was like, "Look, I like you, and I want y'all." I'm kidding. I was like, "Look, I like you, but what are we what are we doing here? Let's find out." I don't think this might work out. She was like, "Why?" And I was like, "Look, you canceled twice, and now you're 40 minutes late." I'm, a, I'm just going to be honest with you. I don't like this. So if you think this is going to continue, it's better off right now. We just cut it off and cut our losses. She was like, no, no, no. I swear. I swear. I swear. This is the last time it's going to happen. And I was like, look, man, you told me that you're a bad tech. So you told me that. And I am telling you that I prefer not to date someone who is naturally a bad texter. So if you think you're going to be Miss Bad Texter with me, Let's just get it out the way and just end it right now. Politely, obviously. I, I don't want to be an asshole. She was like, no, 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 no. I promise not to do that. Well, the date happened. And she did that shit twice after the date where she canceled. And then she takes three days to respond. You know what happened after that? Blocked. 
<laughs> but what I'm trying to tell you is that disrespect, disrespect usually happens in small ways. And really sneaky people know this. And they know that if they just take little bites, you're not going to notice it. But it's still, it's, it still inflicts pain. But not the type of pain for you to really complain about if you barely know them. But enough for it to register and to affect you psychologically. Cut it at the bud. From the start. From the start. Simply because people start testing you to see how much disrespect you could tolerate. How much bullshit you could tolerate. And this is how they do it. And these are all bluffs. These are all bluffs. They're testing your strength. They're testing your perceived value. They're testing your perceived self-love that you have over yourself. They're testing it. They're trying to make you break your own rules. What you have to do is not react or mirror them. You could either not react or literally do the same shit they're doing to you and mirror them. Because then what that does is that mirroring people infuriates them. But they have to care. Because sometimes, if, you're, if they're bluffing and you mirror them, it works. Honestly. <laughs> if they're bluffing you, if they're bluffing to test your strength and you mirror what they're doing to you, what you'll notice is that they're going to start reacting and they're going to stop the games. Because they know, they, fi- they know that you figured them out. But if you mirror them and they, don't, and, they don't, and they don't react to it and they keep doing exactly what they're doing, what that means is that they don't give a fuck about you, but they're just bored and entertaining you. Don't pursue it. These types of people are chokeable motherfuckers. <laughs> people that that you just like hate to know. Like these types of people are the types of people that that they just ruin your interactions. So what you have to do is make sure that you have a base of happiness from within yourself. Be so content within yourself that you don't need someone to make you feel fulfilled. And you develop that through developing a meditation practice. You either purchase my course, Emotional Mastery, or um, go to a 10-day silent retreat. But that, fixing that, will allow you to deal with uncertainty and confusion without grasping out onto other people for validation and for stability. All you have to do is look inward through a meditation practice and you'll find the stability that you used to look for in other people who try to freaking manipulate you. And this is how you do it, man. People bluff. And, and look, if you don't want people to bluff you, then just make sure that you become more at ease with yourself, that you don't tolerate bullshit, that you develop self-love through a meditation practice, develop self-validation through a meditation practice, develops validation through your friends and not through romantic partners and don't tolerate bullshit from the start from the start call them out if they start if they're acting super interested and they want to go out with you but they take one or two days they're scheduling the dates right but they take one or two days in between response call them out on it respectfully say hey hey tyrone hey hey melissa look i i want to go out with you but um are you are you naturally a bad texter? Because if you are, uh, this might not work out. You, you get what I'm saying? Like you, you have to do this because people hide behind the the fact that they know that if you call them out, some people they know if you call them out, they can act like the victim and say, "Hey, you're being too pushy. You're being too needy. You don't even know me to be calling me out on that." If they play that card, fuck them. No, not fuck them. But if they play that card. They're nasty. They're dirty players. They're dirty, dirty players. They're the type of person that if you call them out on something that they did wrong, that they'll play the victim. You don't want to deal with people like that. All right, people, if you guys enjoy that type of content, if you guys want to work with me one-on-one and you guys have some situations you guys want me to answer, um, maybe somebody's playing you, maybe somebody doesn't like you, maybe you want to make somebody like you, maybe you want to tell me your situation and and see what I think, you guys can click on the description down below and purchase a one-on-one phone coaching call with me that is completely uh, confidential and nobody knows about it and they are be able to give you my personal opinion about your situation and at the end of the day when you work with me 
you're gonna get answers, all right? The point is, is that you're not gonna waste your time. Um, if you guys wanna do that, click on the description down below. That's the, that's, those are the one-on-one -on -one private confidential phone calls. And if you guys wanna be able to, for me to answer your questions, like you see in my videos where I answer questions, you guys can book an email coaching session, which is more affordable, and you guys can change things around and nobody will know it's you, and there you'll be able to get a one-on-one -on -one um, type of coaching um, and I'll be able to post it on YouTube and the beauty about it is that nobody finds out because you could just change your name people you say you're in China I'm gonna say you're in Australia nobody's gonna find out people now I want to make it clear the private one-on-one -on -one phone call are private confidential the email coaching calls as you guys can see are things that I post on YouTube they're more affordable and they let me post a video on it as long as you change things around nobody will know you so don't be shy, man. I love working with people, and, uh, and at the end of the day, it's my passion to help people. You guys have no idea how happy this makes me to be able to help you guys at, at, an, at an individual basis. And at the end of the day, you're gonna get my honest advice. A lot of people bullshit you just to bring you back as a customer. If you guys are looking for that honest advice, this is the guy for you, okay? Okay, see you guys.